Good morning, everyone, <clears throat> and let me welcome you to the Human Rights and Humanitarian Forum that Aurora has organized, together with our great partners, the Promise Institute for Human Rights and UCLA Law. That's Nubar Afeon, founder and CEO of Flagship Pioneering, co-founder and chairman of Moderna, and co-founder and chair of the board of directors at the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative, a nonprofit organization that seeks to address urgent humanitarian challenges around the world with the focus on helping the most destitute. Aurora has, has, was born out of the, the memory and the history of the Armenian Genocide, and in less than 10 years, we have slowly become a fledgling, however aspiring, a global organization. As many of you know, we intended to sunset this initiative. Despite the name Aurora, which stands for sunrise, we had a finite time in mind. But in fact, the world hasn't allowed us to do that. Since its founding in 2015, the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative has expanded to become a global platform to support, bring together, and recognize the world's leading humanitarians, including through its flagship $1 million prize for awakening humanity. As part of those efforts, the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative also holds events every year to provide a platform for the world's leading humanitarians, academics, philanthropists, entrepreneurs, and civil society leaders to convene for a series of insightful discussions about the world's most pressing humanitarian challenges. In May, the organization held a first-of-its-kind Human Rights and Humanitarian Forum in Los Angeles, California. Here's what Aaron Bramajim, Deputy Mayor of International Affairs at the City of Los Angeles, had to say. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely my honor to be here with all of you today, and on behalf of Mayor Bass, welcome to Los Angeles. I want to take a moment to thank UCLA and to thank the Promise Institute for Human Rights and to recognize the importance of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative here in our city. I'm proud that you're here in LA and I'm proud that the Aurora, Chise, Aurora Prize has chosen Los Angeles for, to host this year's distinguished event because we are a city where everyone is welcome. And here's Michael Waterstone, Dean of the School of Law at the University of California, Los Angeles. We here at the law school and UCLA are so proud to be your partners in this event, which brings together the world's most eminent thought leaders and change makers. I've seen us do this time and time again, using our power as an institution to convene and becoming a change multiplier. And I, we're just so grateful for the opportunity to host this important conversation. Eric Esraelian, UCLA Vacha and Tamar Manukyan Division of Digestive Diseases Chief, philanthropist, film producer, and entrepreneur, also sits on the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative Board of Directors. He had this to say as the summit began. Well, it's going to be an incredible couple of days here, and uh, I, I also just want to thank everybody from the Aurora community, uh, the, obviously the UCLA community, Promise Institute for Human Rights, and of course, the, the Milken Institute and the, the team at the Milken Global Conference. Michael Milken, chairman of the Milken Institute, was also in attendance. So, if you can see where the world is going, uh, part of this conference is to try to get the world to see where it's going and figure out are we going to create the platforms that will change the course of history. So, my view on the Aurora Prize is that the world understands that there are people that stand up at the greatest risk often of when it's important to stand up and letting us know that this will carry forth in the future and you are not alone. There are many around the world that have stood up um, and uh, this we're hoping to shine a light on them and shine on the light on the winner of the Aurora Prizes.